So here's an interesting perspective. Why I personally love the skill, the sport of boxing. Boxers have come across its retention. What being absent for six to eight weeks prior to a fight can result in benefits for them and the aggression and testosterone boost before a fight, right? So maybe they ha they don't do it for spiritual purposes, but they have, they come across, they've had an experience and they come across a gateway, it's a gateway for them. They're learning what, when you retain what happens to your body, to your skill, you get better at your skill, you get better at your creative art, your technique, you get better at physical benefits, you get stronger. So I've always find that fascinating. And you see this, to me, boxing is a sort of a spiritual warfare because if you notice people who start doing retention, they, they somehow, when they retain for a long period of time, they, they come across God energy, divine energy, the a spirituality for themselves. They find their spiritual, whether it's through religion, through it's with Jesus and God, or they find some sort of, uh, uh, some outlet for spirituality. So we can see this play out in boxing. It is a physical war, but it's also a spiritual war because you see some boxers that they always have God on their side and you have other boxers that maybe they don't praise God for their power and skill, but it's more ego. So it's like ego versus spirituality, God versus the under God. Do you, do you have unconscious and conscious? So just an interesting perspective I want to share with you. When, when you start retaining, you find, because you start entering your higher chakras and your divine godliness, and boxers have resembled some sort of, so you see this play out, people who retain. And boxers are one of the people that have always retained. And you see it, you know, even though we may not have been conscious of what retention was at the time, they have always practiced it for a very long time. You're able to feel an intuitive knowing of your next, your next move, your next skill, your next technique, the next thing, your next move. You have this intuitive, this gut feeling, and I call it, you know, your God's, God's voice is telling you, it's guiding you.